Hello and welcome to Doom Pigeon Gaming. Uh, I am playing Minecraft. Uh, this is the MMUGG um, server, uh, which is Manchester Metropolitan Gaming Society. Um, yeah, um, I just thought I'd show you around as a sort of like single player Minecraft update kind of thing. Um, yeah, so this is like my sort of biome. Uh, it's my house with the lovely zombie heads on the roof. Got this lovely open doors. Oh yeah, and this is the Yorks Cast Complete mod pack. Got my books here, bookshelf with my books in it. Uh, I am a wizard, of course. Uh, got cool uh, iron chests and things. So yeah, so let's uh, start off. This is obviously my sleeping hut house thing with the cool glass blocks and stuff. Uh, this is the blacksmith. Based loosely on an NPC village blacksmith. And if we go inside, we've got all the tinkerous construct tool things. And a lot of cool why is there a diamond in here? Yeah, um a lot of cool weird ores which can make some really cool weapons out of. Got this vat which I've I know it makes burnt bricks, but that's about it. Um yeah, so all the cool tool stuff. Um if I go over here oh, and you'll see my Tile.arsmagica to colon mage torch dot name. Uh, that is obviously a torch, and I've called it Lumos, of course. Uh, here is my um, smeltery. Got uh, all this glass and stuff. So you just pop those out. Put some new glass in there. It's clear glass, which is very nice. Because you can't even tell it's there. Um, okay, I've got this chest full of random seeds and food and crap. I really need to sort the farms out. This is my uh, magical crops farm. It's not very like amazing at the moment, but uh, they basically can make pretty much any ore in the game with these magical crops, and that's pretty awesome in its own thing. So you can make like ender pearls, um, you can make diamonds just out of like growing them. So and you can make some pretty damn awesome crop armor, which I haven't got around to making yet. And I look forward to look, like dabbling in it. I just want to be like the sort of blacksmith of the server, making all the cool stuff. These are dye seeds, so you can make any dye you want uh, from dye essence, and you just gotta put it in like a certain sort of order in the crafting bench table thingy, magi. Um, here is my tree farm. It's not very impressive at the moment, but. I've got some cool trees, got like red stain leaf, which you can use as dye, uh, black stain leaf, etc. Oak, uh, birch, um, force uh, log, which um, you can do force stuff with, which I don't know that much about, but it could be pretty interesting to go into. Um, pretty sure that's an apple oak sapling. So you get apples off that, or something, I don't know. Jungle. Uh, spruce. I had uh, some. Uh, I have more trees, like really cool other random trees and stuff, but I haven't planted those because I'm sorting out the tree farm area soon. Um, spawn is technically like here-ish, but um, I made like a little spawn house in creative because um, I don't have any fir wood. Apparently, now these are the only two things I made in creative. Uh, I'm doing everything else legit, which is good. Uh, this is like the uh, bed house, I guess. The intro to the server and stuff, who the operators are and stuff. Um, yeah, so it goes right here. I've got like a starter pack for everyone. Like, obviously, this is empty. Got my name, everyone else who plays. Uh, just like basic equipment to start off the game. Um, as you can see on the left hand side of my screen, bottom left, I think that's the chaos bar and the bottom right is mana. So I can cast a spell, take some mana, add some chaos, gives me some XP. However, I've got the lightning affinity, so if I jump in water, I lose all my mana and lots of lightning stuff happens. Which is not very good, but I'm sure I can look at it. This is a great wood log, part of Thorncraft. It's very cool, very cool tree, and it's very nice, very nice tree. This is a town hall. It's not quite finished yet, 
um, but yeah, it's got a lovely clear glass. Um, yes, so inside here, we've got a uh, lovely downstairs, it's got to be full of office spaces and boardroom meeting-y stuff. It's going to have a roof when uh, I have enough stuff for it. Believe it or not, this is cobblestone, with the, uh, so I don't even have to bother like cooking stone, I guess. Um, yeah, I've got mangrove wood, uh, twilight oak, all this cool stuff. Um, but yeah, this entire biome here, I'm planning on turning into like a small town, maybe extending it out to uh, the sea over that direction, and there's a desert over there, it's including a pirate ship, which is pretty cool, and an amazing desert temple, holy shit. Uh, I bet you're wondering what this is. Uh, this is my Ars Magica spell creator crafting altar thingy magic where you can make spells like this, like Lumos and Earthbending. Um, but yeah, uh, here's my lovely Ars Magica hut with my Ars Magica stuff and my Oculus which can upgrade spell components and stuff and here's where I make my spells and it's all very cool stuff and things. Oh god, it's getting dark? Yeah, it is. Uh, this like building here, it's not quite finished yet, but this is the Trade Centre. Minecraft Share Trade Center. Advertise your I the, 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 the. advertise items you're selling. Ask for items that you need. The best trade center in Minecraft Share. It is the only trade center in this whole server so far, but it is the best one. So I got like I'm buying Vintium ore and Vintium dust, and got a uh, Josh who is Monkey Sniper who's buying string, wool, and gold, and got some selling piece stuff. Like I'm selling cool, because I'm like the service blacksmith. I've got cool custom weapons and armor and exotic wood. And we've got hella cookies for sale from Josh, so maybe I'll buy some. Maybe. Just maybe. This is Chris's house. Uh, Chris's very, very basic house. And by basic, I mean very, very basic. He's got his, um, huh, I don't even know he could have boiled eggs in this. He's got his stuff uh, and things. Don't think he has anything of value. Um, he's got a back door, which goes out into this, this uh, lovely jungle biome right here. Uh, and he's not cut down this tree. That's irritating. Um, but yeah, so, uh, some endermen. Check out this cool sword. It's got poison, ignite, all sorts of cool stuff. It's got a knockback. Come on, come at me. Oh my god. That chicken. That chicken. Has got her own awesome hat. I want this hat. That chicken is so kawaii. I must kill you, I'm afraid. For the greater good of the village. Oh my god, but I can't. It's so adorable. I'm sorry, chicken. I must go. Go to a better place. Which is my stomach, because I'm hungry. Goodbye, chicken. Nom 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 nom. Okay, so, yes. Oh, we've got some. Is that a dark wizard? Dark mage, magic wizard, wizard bit mage, dark mage. No, rude. Oh, I've lost all my mana. Fuck it. There we go. Kill them. Yeah, I think those spawning around here because it's very magicy, very very magicy. This is Josh's jungle house thing with his Thorncraft stuff and his things and things and stuff and things. So yeah. The entrance is a very secret entrance, which goes up here. And oh god, okay, got some lovely, lovely fences. Those are lovely fences. And we got his uh, cocoa bean farm thing. Because uh, he's got hello cookies. He's got his wheat. Arcane workbench and research table from Thorncraft because he is a wizard. Um, if we go over here, gut. Uh, 
bloody storeroom of stuff. Hello cookies. And lots of other things. Um, and he's got a computer. But I don't know how to work that. So Let's pop down here. Oh god. A eucalypt is pressure plates. Alright, so yeah. Oh, it's another secret engine. My god. Yeah, oh yeah, if you're wondering why I can bounce so high, I'm wearing uh, Boots of the Traveller. So, uh, I am super bouncy. Yeah, my armour doesn't match. I'm just wearing stuff which I found. But yeah, Boots of the Traveller is, like, is amazing. But yeah, so I'm gonna fill all this uh, biome up with, like, cool stuff. Like, uh, um, a town, like I said. Oh, yeah. And whoosh. Whoosh. All the touches. Ah. Yeah. Basically, cool touch. I ran out of mana. God damn it. Ooh. Is that? Ooh. Mine. Oh, fuck. That scared me. I really shouldn't dig straight down, but I want this gold gravel ore. I'll just cover this up. No one will know anything. It wasn't even here. Yeah, so, ooh, marble. Nice. Let's look here for some marble. Yeah, um. There's a zombie. There's a few zombies over there. And a mana creeper. Well, I can basically one-shot most things, or two-shot things, and stuff. Uh, yeah, over there is a massive castle dungeon, and a witchwood forest, and a load of volcanoes. There's a lot of volcanoes over there, but witchwood is amazing. It's like the purple wood on that house over there. If you can see, there it is. Oh my god, why are so many mana creepers? As you can tell, it drains my mana every time I go near it. Uh, yeah, there's a really cool pirate ship over there, which I may show you sometime. But yeah, uh, this is going to be a sort of thing where I show you like updates and see how it's coming along. Um, I'll have some more buildings built by the next time I do an update. I'll show you what everyone else has been doing, if anyone else comes on the server, because it's currently only three of us at the moment. But it should be really cool and I'm looking forward to it like a lot. I'm to steal this flower. Yeah, oh, these are really cool. They're like give you blaze powder, which is extremely useful. But yeah, I'm going to show you that pirate ship. Uh, that is from Chocolate Quest, which is super awesome and also ridiculously hard to beat. Like, I soloed that pirate ship thing and there must have been about a hundred pirates on there, plus the boss, which was the captain. And that was just fucking ridiculous. I died once. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I probably got that one. Just in case. Nah, I've already got that dungeon. Love sunken dungeons. That pirate ship you should be coming to view any moment now. Also, there's like waypoints and stuff. Which is super awesome. Highly recommend the Ox Cast Complete Mod Pack. It's like one of, it's my favourite mod pack ever. There it is. There it is. Uh slowly loading again. When it loads. Oh my god, actually I've done that second. Oh, and another volcano. Let's get a better view of this pirate ship. And I can kill some pigs and eat their meat. But yeah, you can actually go inside it and it's like really cool and awesome. I'm just gonna kill a pig. And apparently zombie villagers. Yeah, they have uh, some villagers which are like sort of stuck in there. Uh, so, if I get a golden lasso or something, um, I can get the, uh, get the villagers and bring them like to my town to live in. So we just pop in here. There it is. There's one. Come on, let me in. There we go. Yeah, we've got this like, really cool pirate ship. Hello, good sir. What are you selling? Coins for bottles of over bottle of enchanting. And a shit ton of TNT. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. I may have slightly made a hole in the pirate ship to make a crafting bench. And another one to make sticks. But shh, you didn't see anything. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna light this place up a little bit. Uh, some TNT cannons. I'm pretty sure there are more villagers in here. The zombie villagers I thought- oh shit, skeletons. Ah, the villagers may be now dead. Crap. Right. Let's hope they're not all dead, because I do kind of want to trade with them. It's a lovely, lovely pirate ship. Oh! It's Dragonborn! Skyrim hat. Yeah. Ah! They barricaded themselves in here. Well done, villagers. 32 emeralds for a big capsule station. No idea what that does. Um... Hello? Why is there a hole in the ceiling? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, and there's a skeleton on fire. But yeah, that's the really cool pirate ship and stuff, and the really cool volcano. Um, yeah, so there's like a real- oh, there's another village like over there somewhere. There it is, like 541 blocks away, but you know what a village looks like. Yeah, I'll show you the really cool big castle thing. I might try and make it safe and then modify it. However, the taint is coming. It's quite near to the castle as well. So that's not very safe. Not at all. So what I'm going to do is quickly cut it here and I will join you when I'm at the castle. Right, hello, we are back. Um, okay. Here's a cool volcano, the Witchwood Forest. My god, this Witchwood is just so nice. And here is what I call Hogwarts. This is a naturally spawning building part of Chocolate Quest. Oh, great. Rain. Lovely. Shot circuiting all over the place. Let's turn the sound down. I mean, meta. Let's use magic. Wow, I am a wizard! Yeah, I don't really cheat with anything because it's just like losing fun. It's losing the fun part of the game, which is actually all the hard work. Yeah, so, uh, part of this like building is a bit broken. I I've claimed this, it's a Sarah's castle. Yeah, like, the problem with these buildings, like, they don't really naturally spawn properly. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I didn't quite loot that properly, did I? Yeah, but it's like, um, usually several of these, like, spawn every now and again. I did this, like, really cool boss when I was here. And it was awesome. But yeah. Um, it was like an Ars Magica 2 boss, the something, I can't remember the name of the boss. It was, I think it was the Magic Specialist boss, boss, Arcane boss, I think it was the Arcane boss. But yeah, anyway, uh, I think that is enough for this little tour. Um, I hope you, I hope you've enjoyed this, like, little tour of the whole land and stuff. Uh, I'm sure there'll be like a lot more stuff here next time you have a look because I'm going to start building now. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit like, favorite and subscribe and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. I'm going now. Bye. Adios. Goodbye.